everyone. Happy Sunday to you. So I thought it's been a while since I shared some mealtime tips with you and stuff and how I prep for the week. So I thought I would go ahead and do this and I was inspired by my friend Beth Graves and um, while I'm not really able to connect all the recipes for the week, I just thought I wanted to show you what I was going to do. Now I'm really excited because part of this is an Aldi's haul and I decided um, you know, I'm really kind of like pinching pennies right now, but I decided to go ahead and buy all my groceries for a whole entire month, except for eggs and almond milk, heavy cream, and salad mix. So those are the four things that um, I'm not buying. Of course, I never buy eggs because I have friends that have chickens, and I always get, you know, free eggs all the time. So really, I just need to buy salad and almond milk and a heavy cream those three things for the entire month so I'm gonna put you on pause and come over here and show you what I got okay guys so here's my little haul here and it may not look like a whole month's worth but it really is now there were three things that I did not get from Aldi's this is one of them this is the Vietnamese inspired pho beef broth and I got this because I do have some um, strip steak in the freezer that I want to eat pretty soon and so I bought some of this to make some pho with and the other things I did not get um, from Aldi's is this right here, the pasta de visco. Now, most of the time I buy the other um, pizza sauce or pasta sauce, the rails, but it's very expensive. And I was looking at this right here, and this actually has the same amount of carbs as that. It's three net carbs for a fourth of a cup and then five gram, a 0.5 grams of fiber. So it's like two and a half carbs for a fourth of a cup. And I picked this up, uh, Thick and Chunky Salsa, and uh, this is from Food Line as well. And so I picked those three things up that were not from there. Now, this is a, a, a dish of chicken thighs, boneless, skinless thighs that are about ready to go into the oven. I wanted to go ahead and get these prepped. I'm going to take these. Two of them are going to be for my dinner tonight. And um, the rest of them are going to be ground up. And I'm making chicken salad out of it for lunch next week. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven. Well, I set my timer. I usually cook uh, chicken thighs about 45 minutes. But these are small, so I'm probably not going to cook them that long. Okay, so also I found some cut okra. I'm going to be using some uh, the other chicken that I got later on. I'm going to make some um, jambalaya, keto style. And then I got some green beans. Now, if you don't buy fresh green beans, you know, canned's great. Um, I like canned versus frozen. I'm not really big on frozen green beans. But I did buy some of those. I bought two things of tuna for um, tuna fish salad for lunches. And then I bought some ghee. Now, I like ghee is clarified butter. And it's gluten, sodium, casein, and lactose free. And it is a little bit more pricier. At Aldi's, at my Aldi's, it's $6.58. But um, it lasts so much longer than buying four quarters of uh, the butter that cost me a mega fortune for real and you know my um, yeah you know that butter <laughs> but um, so I'm gonna try the ghee this time and I think this should probably last me maybe close to a month because I still have some butter in there some grass-fed butter in there then again if you don't buy if you're not gonna eat a lot or whatever and you don't want it to go waste. I think frozen vegetables, uh, side green beans, are the most economical and the best way, and they're probably better than some of the fresh, because when they freeze vegetables, they go straight from the, the garden washed and then packaged. And ounce per ounce, frozen spinach is the best deal of all, because fro uh, fresh spinach is about anywhere from I don't know, $2, $3, $4 for a whole big pound of it. And you know, it cooks down to nothing. So this is a whole pound that's already been, you know, done. And it is organic. 
And so I'm going to be making cream spinach out of this, and then I'm also going to be putting some of this in my soup. So I only got one bag of those. I got some organic blueberries. They were on sale. This won't be long term, but it'll be short term. And then I bought, got some broccoli. I got the steamed broccoli um, for it. I got uh, three bags of those. This will last me a month, maybe even more. <laughs> now here's another trick that I do. I get the color, the rice cauliflower, and it is um, only one net card for three quarters of a cup. It's three grams and two grams of fiber. But anyway, I buy the rice because um, it's a better value price-wise than cauliflower mash. And all I do is I cook this bag of like like you're supposed to cook it, drain it. And then I run it through my food processor and I make cauliflower mash out of it. And it is so much cheaper than cauliflower mash. So I picked up three bags for the regular ones. And then, as a special treat, I got one of the um, garlic and herb rice cauliflowers. And uh, this is really good flavor. Now, as far as meat goes, you already seen the chicken that went in there. Like I said, I had some steak, not steak steak, but you know, like sirloin, round bottom steak or whatever that I'm used for that. Then this is a whole big thing, a uh, family size of Atlantic salmon. It's fresh, never frozen. What I do is cut these into portions all the way down. I wrap them in saran wrap and then I put them in... Um, a freezer bag and put them in there then I can just take out the portion that I need for this but um, this was a really good deal and it is how many pies? it's um, mercy I'm trying to look for how many pounds it is oh it's on maybe on this side I don't know it says eight servings four ounces so what, eight times four, 24, so I had two, two and, almost two and a half pounds of salmon. Then I also picked up some um, chicken thighs that were on, they were on sale, and these had the skin and bone in, but these are really great for recipes. Now, usually I buy um, ground, grass-fed beef, but this was beef, and it was on sale, and it was um, no steroids or anything like that added to it product of the USA and it was on sale for $2.29 a pound and I got five pounds almost five and a half pounds oh my gosh this will make oops, sorry there goes the salmon <laughs> that will make so many meals for me so um that will probably last more than a month as well and then I got uh one more thing I got some country strawberry of Oh, my stuff is falling, y'all. I got some country style ribs. They were only four fifty, and um, I like these. And what I'll do is I'll usually cook. I'll cook all these at one time, and I'll eat half for dinner and then half for lunch the next day. So that is how I plan on eating for a month from all these. Like I said, minus eggs, salad, heavy cream, and almond milk. Which, I don't go through too much, so I'll probably have to buy those twice. And, yeah. So, I'm really excited about my haul today. Oh, by the way, it was $51 and some odd cents. Not bad, eh, for a month of groceries. Of course, I am just one person. But I think a family of four could take what I bought right here and eat at least two and a half weeks on or more. So, yeah. So, I just thought I would share that with you. I hope you're all having a great Sunday. Um... I had to come on and, and just share this with you guys because I was a little sad today. My pastor's last Sunday was today. And um, so, oh, it's nice to talk to all of you. So, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on that little subscribe button right over there, you know. Make sure you tap the bell. And when you tap the bell, make sure it looks like it's giving the bell a hug so that you can be notified all the time. If you don't, you're going to be just notified some of the time. 
So thank you for watching and I will see you all tomorrow morning for Monday morning coffee and I will be live tomorrow morning. Depending on how it goes, it might be my last live to do Monday mornings, but we're going to try it one more time this Monday. So I will see you at 1030 tomorrow morning and before that for our daily devotion. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.